Hey guys, what's going on? Duff King 56 here, back to continue our Let's Play of Yakuza Kiwami. Welcome, welcome back. As you can see, this is the map that we are looking at here. And we came back here last episode, I believe, to try to get into this club, not only to do the one sub-story, but also to do what seems like a Majima Everywhere thing. However, I seem to have missed the fact that we had to go to the MEB to get the scoop on some stuff. So the first thing we're actually going to do is head to the MEB and see what's going on to see if we can get enough quote unquote like information that would get us into that club. So that's what we're going to do. Except of course the first we're going to fight some nouveau riche people. Come on man. I am so ready for combat by the way. I have just clocked close to what is my 100th hour in Yakuza 0 to be frank with you. I am very ready to start punching people in this game. It's been a while. I've been playing a lot of Zero when I haven't played this. I do take some breaks between recording and stuff, so I'm very happy to be coming back to this game and starting back on things here. So of course we're going to grab the coin locker key over here. And eventually we're going to have to go on a coin locker opening spree, but that is not right now. Uh, even though we're kind of, you know, got plenty of them and we're going to get some good items from them. Alright, 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 let's go. I gotta find some hooligans. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, I'm really excited to get back into things here. I hope to do just a couple of the things I wanted to do at that club and then go into the story. I know we have to go back to the florist to have him pay his debt back to us. And I'm sort of suffering from my lack of uh, upgrades in this game because I'm like, you know, close to being fully upgraded and zero. And then I come over here, I gotta deal with all this tomfoolery. Shit ain't fun. Alright, that's quite enough there. He dropped his knife. I should definitely go and grab that so we can stab some people to death here. Oh boy. Alright. Where's the knife at? Oh, did it despawn? Okay. I see how it is. Oh, I'm loving the double play right there. Very nice. Uh, I wanted to... Okay, I guess I don't want to stomp on him anymore, so we'll just not. Because he's already dead. Oh, I didn't even see that he wasn't on the thing. Beautiful. Okay. So that was a, a not-so-easy, easy fight. Probably just because of the sheer volume of people and the fact that they just don't stop freaking attacking. That's okay. Got some stamina and royale to make us happy. And now we'll head over to the MEB, which is right over here by the save point, I believe. Which makes things a lot easier for us. So let's see if we can get the scoop, right? Men's Entertainment Bar. Oh, I see. So this isn't quite a bar. It's just a uh, place where we get the information on some girlies. So, hey, man. It seems like this guy knows all the best spots. Tell me about the jewel. What do you have for me here, buddy? Head east on Shichifuku Street, and we'll find it on the left-hand side. It's a pretty classy place, and, of course, he would recommend it. And they only hire the most beautiful people. Yeah, you know, you should take me to the club, man. I don't know what sort of commission you're getting on this stuff, but hey. I would do like, I would like a free trip, to be honest with you. Thanks for bringing me to the jewel. And apparently Yui's pretty cool. So that's good. She's like, you know. I think one of them were trying to get fired or whatever. So let's see here. A service fee of 3150 and another 3150 for requesting a girl. So it's like 15,000 yen in the end. All right, see what you got for me, buddy, here. Oh, very nice. Hello, Yui. We got ourselves the marquee girl. Thank you for your business card. Nice. Okay, cool. So it looks like she's got a meter here, like a friendship meter, kind of like in Yakuza 0. So maybe we can... Get her up all the way and see if we can unlock some interesting things. So let's see how this goes here. Ooh, what do I want to drink, man? I don't have much money for much much things here. I don't think I want to be cheap. Let's grab a quick uh, whiskey here, some Yamazaki, something we're very familiar with. Ooh, she likes that we bought a drink. Very nice. Thank you. We got some experience points for that. I will take it, I will take it. Of course you can have some drank. Didn't get much more from that. Maybe she doesn't like the whiskey, but that's okay. <laughs> Looks like her glass is a little bit different than ours, but maybe it's just the reflection of the light off of her clothes. Kiryu-san, today was work, right? Yeah. 
Well, we were kind of kicked out of our work for a long time. Yeah, I, I, you know, I'm just unemployed. I finished my term. I was in prison. Hmm, probably on the on the circle would be the best reply here. Yeah, this was that definitely was a better thing to say. Oh yeah, that made her happy. That's good. Mm. Yeah, what are we gonna do next? That would be a good question to answer here. Yui, that's so nice of you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't answer the other two. Oh, I see how it is. That's her angle. Not surprising, honestly. <laughs> oh, very interesting. I see, so that's also very important too. That makes sense. You know how they don't feel guilty? Money. That's true, you don't want like stalkers or people trying to assault you after hours because they thought that they had a chance with you. I guess that's a good policy. At least you're honest. Very true, very true. That's a good point. It's very valiant of her too. It seems like she has very pure intentions. どうぞどうぞ。you know, Yui's pretty cool. I like her already. <laughs> Thank you. That's so nice. You should keep talking, huh? Oh, oh, this is what he's like thinking or whatever. Hmm. Let's order one more thing. Let's see if we can fill the meter here. Let's see if we can have another drink. Oh, I guess he's hungry. Okay. Well, honestly. I'm kind of in like a dessert mood, but honestly a fruit platter looks really good right now. I'm kind of definitely in like a sweet fruit kind of mode. She seemed to like that. Didn't give us much more experience. Take a class, huh? And what? Like what would she want to be? やっぱり昼の仕事を持ってる子の方がお客さんとの会話が弾む気がするの。I see, so this is work related. その点、私はお水の経験しかないから、お客さんに聞いた知識くらいしかなくて、そんなに話広がらないんだよね。Well, sometimes it's not necessarily a bad thing, but a good hostess definitely should have a good, good grip on a lot of different topics. It does make sense. We know this very well from Yakuza Zero when we were bringing up the cabaret club as Majima. Interesting. Yeah, what class is she going to take? Ooh, what can she take? Oh, dance classes would be cool. Martial arts, definitely interesting. Cooking class, good. Hmm, I'm 
trying to think between dance lessons and cooking class. I know martial arts would be really good. But I think dance lessons would be pretty cool. But then again, talking about cooking is definitely like a good topic. I think it transcends something like dance class for guys, especially looking in a hostess. So let's go with the cooking class. I think it would. Yeah, definitely. They could totally use some tips. And even just talking about recipes would be pretty cool. And that's very true, Kiri. Very, very true. We filled the meter. Awesome. Can we give her a present? Do we even have a present like worth giving her? I don't really think so. Let's let's don't do anything right now. I don't really want to order anything, and I don't think I have anything nice to give her. So let's just don't do anything. We could keep talking, possibly. Try something else. Let's keep talking. I don't really know how we go over the meter here. A bit of a problem, huh? What is that? Well, it's kind of like a weird thing, but I suppose it makes sense. It just kind of seems weird to spend a lot of money to do minor things like that. This is just interesting. I didn't know you could actually shave bone from your cheeks or your chin. That's that seems really painful. Like an after effect of the surgery would be very bad. I suppose her parents are trying to act as the voice of reason here, so... You should both do it. It's your sister's choice. Your parents are right. Oh, this is so tough. I don't think I should say you both should do it. You don't want to make any of the implications that she needs work done. And the sister's choice is good. And her parents are right. It's also a good one. I want to, like, flip this on its head or whatever. Hmm... Uh, maybe her parents aren't exactly right. In the end, though, if her sister's an adult, I think it should be her choice. She shouldn't have to step in. This is very difficult. I don't want to answer, like, the wrong answer. I think, you know, the meter will fill up regardless. It's probably just a matter of how much for what choice you have. So let's go with your parents are... Uh, I'll go with your sister's choice. Yeah, see, Kiryu you taking the logical mature route. We'll see if that works. We're so freaking close, guys. We're, we gotta fill this meter. Very true. If it is just our eyelids, maybe it's really not that big of a deal. Ah. I didn't actually know that. Is that like a cultural thing over there? That's weird. Oh yeah, considering Kiri's got that big tattoo on his back. <laughs> the jig is up, man. Cool. Damn it, it's almost up. Uh, Damn it, damn it, damn it, we couldn't fill the meter. That's okay though, I think we did pretty good for our first shot at this. Oh, the bill's pretty big, but that's okay. Could have been a lot worse, to be honest. <laughs> hey, you know, we almost filled up her meter though, I think that was pretty cool. It's a nice Yui date, if you will. Do we rank? 
All right, we ranked it to E. Not bad. Okay, so this is definitely like a recurring thing. We can go back to the cabaret clubs and forge a relationship with these hostesses, and that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to continue to do this sort of thing. I'm not going to worry about the jewel. I know that I was supposed to do the shine, but I also wanted to do the jewel to do some due diligence. So let's head over to the MEB, and I'll still do this episode. It'll be a double club episode. We'll go over to the shine and take care of everything we need to take care of. Then we'll do the story next episode. I think that would be the best, to be honest with you. So let's see what this guy gives me about the info booth here. It's a cabaret club down Pink Street. Lots of joints down there overcharged, but you don't have to worry about that with the shine. Ooh, he wants us to meet with Arena. Um, I think I'll actually walk there myself this time. Because I'm worried about her... Rena becoming the thing that overrides what I need to do with the Majima quest. And then with the side quest with that one guy's sister. So let's just head down Pink Street. Or, no, the wrong, that's the wrong Pink Street, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we have to just keep on running here. I'm not going to engage in combat right now. We can always do that later. So let's get to the correct Pink Street. Once we get to that area, and then we will be good to go with the next club thingy, thingy majiggy, if you will. I know it's a highly technical term, but you'll just have to bear with me with this uh, large vocabulary and see if we can avoid this fight. No, didn't think so. That's okay. Let's destroy these guys in some beast mode because I think that would be kind of fun. It's been a while since we've had some some good old fashioned clotheslining beatdowns here. Oh, beautiful! Throw him into his teammates. Okay, I wasn't expecting that quite there, but that's good. I like that a lot. Okay, you didn't have to punch me through my rush combo there, but that's fine. Oh, beautiful. Get up, buddy. Damn it, I wanted to, to get a heat move where I, like, spin him around like in a cartoon. I'm such a grappler, dude. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, dude, you hit pretty darn hard for just a random person. That's that's really annoying. Okay. I, I want my upgrades back so badly. Especially since they give them to you in the beginning of the game, too. Just headbutt you to death. Perfect. Okay. So I finally got to do what I wanted to do. That was beat up some hooligans. We're pretty close to the club, so it really isn't that big of a deal. Let's go and we'll do the side quest second. Actually, maybe not. Let's just go and do them right away. Yo, Yuya. お前の彼女が舞台に出るんだって。そうなんですよ。来てもらえて嬉しいです。実はここで俺の女がこれから踊るんですよ。ミユって言うんですけどね。よかったら一緒にどうです。もちろんご招待です。Hey, yeah, maybe it would be a nice change of pace. Definitely something I want. And he's covering the cover price. Oh, this seems kind of sketch. Let's go. <laughs> Am I going to be able to show this kind of thing when I <laughs> upload this to YouTube? Let's go, man. This guy's like really eager to show her off, but hey, I'll take it, you know? ほう、<笑> 
Oh, we're going for a double feature here. Okay, uh, first of all, he's gonna probably take a shot right away here, so I'm going to strafe this, yep. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, this is really fucked up, man. I thought it was gonna be a funny Majima thing. No, that guy just got fucked up in the head with a shotgun. My bad, guys. Yeah, <laughs> Alright man, there's no reason to do any of this shit, alright? We haven't killed anybody, I promise. Oh, it's time to fuck up some major shit here, I'm guessing. Maybe it's like an upstairs thing. I don't know, we'll find out as we go, I guess. But what the hell is going on here? This is supposed to be a side quest. A sub, a, a, a sub story. Alright. Well, wait for me. That ain't good, man. We're gonna go straight to the go parlor. We won't waste any time. Oh, Majima. I hear Majima. Is he behind this car? No? Shit. No, dude, 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 I want Majima. Fuck. God fucking damn it, dude. Alright, we're gonna beat these guys up and then go to the go parlor because I don't want to waste any time, honestly. There we go. Perfect. Actually, we have 10 upgrade points, so we can go and grab another upgrade when we want to. But I'm not gonna do that right now, of course. These guys are dying really easily, and I like that a lot. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That was very interesting that these sub-stories are now evolving into like things that add to the story a tiny bit. I'm liking these like fully voiced cutscenes a lot, honestly. Something that is very much attracting me to continue to do these sub-stories, even though it's kind of like a hit or miss with them. I mean, it might not even technically be a sub-story, it might just, might just be like a, literally just like a side thing that'll give us a reward in the end. Perfect, okay, cool. So we took those guys out. Really want to fight Majima, man. I love fighting Majima. And it just kind of sucks that we didn't have the opportunity to do so. But anyways, we need to go to... Where's Park Boulevard? I don't even know what these things are. Just gotta go and see. It's not Pink Alley, not Kamichi Alley. Not there. 
Oh, god damn, dude. Park Boulevard sucks. We're gonna have to go. Only, not, not because, like, the area sucks, just there's a lot of people that want to fight you, so... I'm worried that this is gonna screw things up and I'm gonna be, like, pulled into a million fights. But I guess we'll figure it out, right? The only thing we can do right now is hop in the cab, of course, after we grab this locker key. And then we can figure out exactly how we want to go about saving both Yuya and his girlfriend, who's... Yeah, she's a pretty cool dancer, not gonna lie. Okay, so, let's go to... Mm, let's go to the Hotel District North, because I'm worried about triggering something by going up to that area. Now, she's not in the park, per se, so that leads to me thinking that we're not going to be accidentally procking story by going here. But nonetheless, we have to go and help Yuya out here, which just happens to be on this boulevard. Hopefully not a boulevard of broken dreams, but a boulevard of fulfilled promises to help him and his girlfriend. But hey, got ourselves another locker key. Dude, we are doing so well with these things. I'm very happy with our progress so far. We've, we've had a better eye compared to Yakuza 0. Getting the telephone cards in Yakuza 0 was a hell of a time. But that's okay, we're doing a lot better now. We're finding things as we go. Now where the exactly is Yuya? Ah, he's over here. That makes things better for us. I don't think I'll remember anything, to be honest with you. But hey. Oh wait, we've got the kid over here too. Oh, there's like a million things to do here. Now where the hell is... Oh, maybe it's in the park alley. Let's go check that park alley. That might be a good idea. Okay, so he's not here. Let's go and check our... ...sub-stories here. I don't think it's any of these. Did the cell phone plan. Okay, so it's just not... Oh okay, yeah, here we go. Uh, the go parlor. Where Did I just walk past the go parlor? Like, am I that dumb? Is that a thing here? I don't understand where the go parlor would be. It ain't the Vincent. It ain't the barbecue restaurant. Maybe we can just go and look specifically at doors, maybe? I mean, this guy probably just wants to rope us into another story. Oh, is it this thing? Ah, yes. Okay, cool. So maybe we can go and go inside and help him out here. We could fight ourselves against some shotgun-wielding, cross-dressing assassins. Not a bad deal, though. ごそかったじゃねえか。キリュウ。キリュウさん、こいつら。極道なめてんのか、てめえは。甘っちょれ組長よ。撃たれて当然の通だ。なる。本人の前で嫌どうですか。こんなとこで出稽古ち戦うぜ。I, uh, you know, I, I think I'm gonna let you join him in a little bit, actually. It's kind of funny that, it's a kind of tongue-in-cheek that it says we're fighting the Cosmo family, considering we're not fighting the Cosmo family. We're fighting the people that don't want to be in the Cosmo family, and this guy is a little bit on the more ridiculous side here, so I have to be much more careful here. Get on the ground! Perfect. Can we grab Sword Dude? That definitely hurt. There we go. Perfect. Get yourself against the wall, son. And take you out. Okay, that's good. I, I do want to decentralize these guys a little bit. Thin out the crowd, as it were. Actually, let's um, switch to... There we go. Nah, I'm gonna roll. <laughs> that's probably the best course of action here. Oh, we got to roll out of that. That is really good on our part there. 
I do want to... Mm, I want a heat move with it, though. There we go. Catch, buddy. Mm, nice little uppercut to the chin. Break some incisors, maybe. Make sure he has a difficulty eating meat for the rest of his life. That'd be a good idea. Nice counterattack there. And this will probably finish the last one. Beautiful. Okay, that was, that was a dodgy fight, but we still did okay. これで終わりじゃねえぞ、キリュウ。親殺しの楽園はな。てめえが食ったばるまで消えやしねえんだ。背負ってくさ。10年前にそう決めた。it is what it is. We're gonna do what we're gonna do. Kiryu-san! You're not going to kill me, Yuya. You don't want to get close to me. I don't know what to say, but... Kiryu-san, I'm going to kill you any time, but I can't do it for me. You don't want to kill me. You don't want to kill me. あの何かお礼したいんですけど今こんなものしかバカお前そんなもん渡してどうすんだよだってああ、fucking oh, a man <laughs> A free pass for Asia. I'll take it, man. <laughs> Sub story two is complete. My baby's a showgirl. Not that I mind. We got 20 grand experience points for that, so. How could I be complaining? Very nice sub story, though. Everything was tied in really nicely together. Very wholesome ending. So I will leave you guys with that. Next episode, we're going to be going to go see the florist. This has been Duffking56. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye bye. <laughs>